Hey guys! So today for you all I'm really excited because I'm going to be filming a hair tutorial and it's going to be on how I achieve these soft, loose, bouncy curls and in my last video I wore my hair like this and I said I was going to be doing a tutorial on it so I'm holding my promise and I'm going to be doing a tutorial on these curls today. When I finally figured out how to curl my hair like this it was so exciting and I just love the way these curls come out and I curl my hair all the time now because I love these curls. So if you guys are interested in seeing how I achieve these curls then stay tuned and also I'm really excited because as you might have noticed, my background has changed. I got a new picture for over my bed, and this picture is from Ikea, and it is a canvas, like, portrait kind of thing of Audrey Hepburn, and I think it's really pretty. I really just like the way it makes my room look, but that is beyond the point of this video. So we are going to go ahead and get started with the tutorial, and now you guys are going to get to see my bathroom, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, guys, so this is my complete natural hair. All I have done with it was last night I washed it with the Good Natural Nourishing Shampoo, Good, I'm guessing that's how you would say that. This is by Burt's Bees, and I use the flavor Paranormal Activity, which is a super cute name. So I use the Natural Nourishing Shampoo and the Softening Conditioner. So that is what these look like, and these are amazing products. I definitely recommend them. So I just washed my hair with those two products, and then I just brushed out my hair with a wide tooth comb while it was still wet. It's better to use a wide tooth comb than a... Um, paddle brush or any other brush because it's nicer on your hair and it doesn't break your hair. So I just brushed out my hair with a wide tooth comb and then I let it air dry. So I slept on my hair wet and this is what I get out of it. It's kind of crazy looking. But today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do my soft, bouncy, loose curls for shorter hair. So the curling iron I'm going to be using today is this Conair curling iron. And I believe this is a 2 inch curling iron and it does have a clamp. So this curling iron has been in my family for a while, but it works great for this hair tutorial. So now I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how I create these soft, loose, bouncy curls. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is take a clip, and I'm just using a little clear one. It doesn't matter what kind of clip you use, just any kind of clip to section off your hair. And the first way I section off my hair is I go right above my ears and then just pull my hair back. And I just make like what you would do if you were making a half pony. So then I'm just going to go ahead and clip all of that on the top of my head. Okay, so then I just break my hair into two sides. I just part it like down the middle and pull the two sides apart. So then I'm going to go ahead and brush it out just to make sure there are no tangles or anything. I'm going to start with the left side of my hair. That's just the side I always start with. I don't know why that's just the side I always start curling my hair with. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my curling iron, and my curling iron is on the highest heat setting. Now all of the heat setting like numbers have worn off, so I don't know how hot this gets exactly, but it is on the highest setting it can go. So I'm going to go ahead and take my first section of hair, and I'm going to take a section about that big. My sections vary. I don't always grab the exact same size, and I don't grab really small pieces, but it just varies. I just kind of grab a piece. So then I'm going to go ahead and get my curling iron. So what I do is I open the clamp, and I put my hair in like this. So this is what I do for the left side. I put the clamp on top of the hair and then I close it down and I start to twist my hair around and I just slightly open the clamp and move my hair down as I go until all of the hair is tucked in the clamp. As you can see, it's all tucked away. And then I just twist it up to the top and I hold it there for a few seconds. So then I just go ahead and twist it out a little bit and pull down the hair. And then there you go. You are left with this really cute little bouncy curl. So I'm going to go ahead and do that with this whole side of my hair and then I'm going to show you guys how I do this side. Okay, so now that this side is done, I'm just going to leave it sitting here in the front while I work on this side. So I'm going to go ahead and grab a small piece again. And then when I curl this side, I do it differently. I flip the curling iron upside down, so I make it face this way so the clamp is down, and I put it in my hair like this. But then I go ahead and twist the hair around the same way because this makes my hair curl away from my face on both sides. For some reason, this side was a lot harder to figure out how to curl away from my face. I don't know, I couldn't figure it out for the longest time. But now I finally figured it out, so now both sides will be curled away from my face, and I just prefer the look of the curls going away from your face. So 
So now the bottom layer of my hair is done and completely curled, but I'm not going to use any hairspray yet. And I know for a lot of people that can sound really scary, but I promise it looks better if you don't spray it. But that's also because I'm going for soft curls. And the first time I tried this, I was really scared to not spray them, but it totally works and it totally looks really cute. So I'm not going to spray them yet. I'm going to wait until all of my hair is done. So now I'm just going to leave these pieces in the front for a minute, and I'm going to go ahead and take down the rest of my hair. So now I'm just going to break off the top section and put that back up in the clip. Now I only do my hair in three sections and I have pretty thick hair but that's all I need to do it in. So then just go ahead and twist that up. So now to make sure the curls stay separate, the, one, the pieces I've already curled and the pieces I have not, that's why I left the straight hair back. So I'm going to go ahead and collect all of the straight hair up into my hands. So now that all of the straight hair is up, I'm going to go ahead and push back the curls. So they will stay back and these sections come forward. And that just keeps the hair separate so I know what pieces I have curled already and what pieces I have not. See, that is a curled piece that's trying to play with the other hair. Just go ahead and brush out these sections again so you have no tangles. So now I'm just going to go ahead and curl this side and this side and then I'll come back to you guys when I am on my top layer. Okay guys, so now the second layer is completely curled, so now I'm going to move on to the top layer. So I'm going to go ahead and take that hair down, and I just leave that in the little like ponytail shape for a second and push these curls back, and then just pull them forward, and I just pull them forward according to my part. So this side is going to have a lot less hair than this side just because of the way my hair parts. So then I'm just going to go ahead and brush them out again. So go ahead and curl. And I still curl all the way to the roots on this side, but I don't do that on this side. And I only do it on this side because I have less hair on this side and less layers. So it keeps the look more universal if I curl all the way up. Okay, so now we are going to move on to the last section of hair, which is the top section on my left side of my hair. So I'm going to go ahead and separate it into sections. And now I know I always started curling from the front to the back, but I do not know why. But with this section, I always curl from the back to the front. It's just, I don't know, it's just like a weird little thing of mine. So I'm gonna go ahead and start grabbing sections and just curl the same, except I'm not gonna go all the way to the root of my hair. So once I get all the hair in the curling iron, I'm gonna stop around there. I think it looks better if I don't twist all the way up. So I'm just gonna leave it around there and just let it curl. And go ahead and curl the rest of this side. Okay guys, so now all of my hair is curled and it looks something like this. So I'm not going to go into hairspraying just yet. What I'm going to do is wait for my hair to completely cool down. So some of it is still hot, this side is still a little warm. So I'm just going to wait for all of my hair to completely cool down. So in this time I would usually put on my makeup or get dressed, but I have both of those things done today. So I'm just going to go have a little dance party, obviously. Okay guys, so now that my hair is completely cooled down, it only took like three to five minutes, it doesn't take long, and I just think this makes the style look better. I'm gonna go ahead and pull all my hair to the front, and now this step could seem really scary, but it really transforms the way the curls look. It makes your curls so bouncy and so pretty. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my wide tooth comb again, and now, side note, I have not hairsprayed my hair yet, I have not done anything to it except curl it. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab the comb, and this could look scary, but I promise it works. I'm gonna go ahead and brush through my curls, and I'm just gonna do one, like, quick brush through each section of curls. So just start from the top and brush down. And as you can see, that just bounces them up so much and gives them so much volume. And I really like the way it makes the curls look. I think it makes them look so much better and just like really pretty. So go ahead and do that with both sides of your hair. So as you can see, the curls just look so much more bouncy and full and I just love the effect it gives them. It makes them less structured and more just bouncy, loose curls. So now if there was any hairs you needed to touch up, this would be the time to do it. But now we are going to go ahead and go in with hairspray. So the hairspray I'm going to be using is the Herbal Essences Body Envy Volumizing Hairspray. And I really like using a volumizing hairspray with these curls because you want as much volume as you can. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this hairspray. So hello guys, I am upside down right now. So the way I do my hairspray is I flip my hair upside down and I do not use a lot of hairspray. So, and you can see my pajama pants, woohoo! So I'm just gonna go ahead and flip my head upside down. Just do a couple squirts of hairspray. Okay. 
and then just bounce up my curls and fluff them up and that's all I do I do not do a lot of hairspray okay guys so I've just flipped up my hair from hairspraying it so now I'm gonna go ahead and just style it and make it look like extra good so I'm gonna go ahead and grab the pieces I like to have in the front and just kind of shake them around, move them into place. And I know it looks kind of big right now, but your hair will fall. If you need more hairspray just to make yourself feel confident, you can definitely go ahead and apply some more. But I just like doing a nice little spritz because I like to still be able to put my hands through my hair and I just really like the way this makes my curls look. So now you're finished. Okay guys, so as you can see, that hair tutorial is super simple and I love the way it turned out. I love wearing my hair like this and I love that I finally found a really simple, easy way to curl my hair that lasts and just that looks really pretty and not too structured. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys try out this hair tutorial, definitely leave it in the comments below or definitely send me a picture to my Twitter or something because I would love to see. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave anything you guys want to see in the comments below and I will talk to you guys in a little bit. Bye guys!